slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran to the no man, I still go Go, go Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today is pretty dope. We're going to be uh, tackling doing the rear brakes on the CLS. Uh, mine are shot. So let me see if I can show you guys real quick. It's my, I want to say it's my passenger side. Let's see. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Toast. All right, look. They're done. Yeah. All the way around grinding. Shh, nasty. Should not have waited that long. <laughs> so we don't have a ton of daylight, so I'm gonna do the best I can to record and get this done. I need to get it done. I haven't been driving the AMG because of these brakes, but since you guys seen the last video, the Corvette's down, so I don't have another vehicle at the moment. So, yeah. <clears throat> also, I budget build, piece this shit together, and oh my goodness, I, I came up like low key, but everybody's gonna roast me in the comments probably for the stuff I'm using because I didn't do the AMG way and whatever. But let me get these uh, parts out on, put them on the table and lay them out for you. So here they are. We got the rotors and the pads. So, pads and rotors. So they're huge. <laughs> okay. So it's pretty common stuff what to do. Um, obviously, I got to raise the rear end of the car, take the wheels off. So I'm going to get to that point. I'm going to show you guys that. It's pretty common sense how to raise the car. Um, but yeah, let me just, you know, the uh, let's just talk about it real quick. So I got the pads from AutoZone for $37, cheap as hell. And if you call most auto parts stores, they don't even carry the pads. It was, I had to call everybody and everybody, like trust me, everybody. The dealer wants $450 for these pads without the sensors. Uh, that's outrageous. Um, I went on Rock Auto, which is my spot. I found them for a decent price. But um, I wanted to get it sooner, like I said, instead of waiting for them to ship it to me. So I went and called Napa, Smith Auto, O'Reilly, Sebring West, and lo and behold, AutoZone is the one who um, <laughs> could, could get them and had them in stock. So I was like, all right, let's go. Let's do this. You know what I mean? So I uh, got them. They're the right pads. I'm happy. So then... I'm like, yo, I need the rotors. So AutoZone can't even get rotors. Called all the same places again. The only other place that could do it was Smith. Smith Autos could get the uh, rotors, but they were um, a brand that I was going to be buying off of Rock Auto anyways. And so I was like, all right. And the pricing was double the Rock Auto's price for the rear rotors. So I was going to pay about 400 for the rear rotors. And I was like, yeah, for an off-brand, I'm like, I'm good off that. So I kept calling around, and what are the odds of this? So I call O'Reilly's, and they say they have them for a certain amount of money, right? And so they order them. I had to wait like two days. And so I get there, and they're the wrong ones. Because I get to the car the other day, and I was going to do this job and record this video. And they ordered me the ones for the CL. And the reason how I found that out before getting all into the process, I started looking at the brake pads, and there were some dumbass weird brake pads you know non brimbo style so then i basically was like yo uh call them up like hey you sent me the wrong shit you know and i had to use my uh, shop discount pretty much to get them so i got them for the plug and so um i ended up getting that little set for like i want to say like 110 bucks for the rotors and pads so i call them up they had to go on like some special site or whatever and somehow they were able to get the right cls rotors through a different distributor it had to wait three days for them to come in and they honored their original price so i got my rear rotors for 110 bucks and my brake pads for 30 dollars so i mean sometimes you just got to call your locals you know and see what's going on with them you know what i mean so uh we'll see how long they last and all this other stuff they're not the fronts you know obviously the front's gonna cost me a, two racks no matter where i go um but yeah so all in all i'm gonna get the amg back on the road for what is it a hundred and 
let's just say 150 bucks because of gas so yeah uh like i said i'm losing daylight right now and i need to get this done so i'm gonna just start this process right now and uh i'll get back to you guys i do have the flashlight on my you know thing so i'll keep you guys updated as to what i'm doing but let me get the car in the air right now and uh, let's do it okay i'm already leaking but let me give you guys a little update so here's the pads you can see all this metal on metal and if you come right here i got them compressed now i gotta take off the back bolts to get the caliper off and uh then the rotor will come out and then pretty much put it back together it's really freaking easy A million videos on youtube on how to do these brimbo brakes so nothing special I'm not really walking you through it it's pretty easy um yeah so let me just keep knocking away at it <laughs> okay here they are side by side the brand new one nice and clean versus that super bad super bad and that's not too bad just really uneven brake wear huh. nice okay you can see i'm dirty and i'm leaking and uh yeah <laughs> um now let me put it back together uh, i'll show you what it looks like real quick got the caliper on the floor we're low enough so it's not really hanging it's actually sitting on the floor i'm gonna try to spray it and clean it but here it is it's all taken off so yeah i'm gonna clean up the hardware real quick with some uh, brake cleaner and um i'm just put it back together i'll show you what it looks like when it's done so yeah let's get this done then i gotta do one more side i mean so far i think i'm 15 minutes into this man yeah, a little longer maybe maybe but you know setting up trying to find the camera find the tools on the next time on the other side be a blast go right through it so all in all since i've gotten here i think i've only been here 30 minutes so i'm already leaking this bed <laughs> it's 100 degrees outside and it's pitch black <laughs> it's kind of how it is over here in cali it's not as nice as people think but anyways let me get this done okay so that's the finished product they're in the right way sensors back in everything bolted down snugged up so new rotor now let's put the wheel on and then do the same to the other side like i said it's night time it's a school night for the kids i gotta hurry up and get this done so <laughs> leaking yep all right let me get this done Okay, and that's how you do it. There's a little time lapse for you, so you can see everything. Probably was a little quick, but uh, as you can see, I'm dripping, dripping. And uh, yeah, that's how it's done though. Um, dang, I don't know why the lights do that. Okay, so anyways, yeah. So um, I gotta clean up the mess real quick, uh, pump the brakes, put the cap back on the brake reservoir underneath the hood. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you do the rear brakes pretty easy so hold on let me clean myself up get this all taken care of real quick wipe my face off and i'll be back hold on okay so we're in the car uh the brakes are working as you can see i'm in the car just got done putting everything away so let me roll the window down let's see everything's cleaned up and yeah so uh that wasn't too bad 
wasn't too bad at all. Um, just definitely, it's just hot. It makes everything 10 times worse. <laughs> Y'all was good. We are home finally all freshened up and just uh, feels good not to be out there just dripping in sweat. But yeah, so um, basically that was just a quick little video today on, you know, me having to change the brakes and kind of give you guys an update now as to what's going on. Um, I will be pumping out some more CLS videos. I know that uh, you guys want to see that. Uh, as for the Corvette, um, yeah, looks like I'm getting burned left and right on that one. Uh, I might just end up selling it and taking the biggest L and uh and just rebuilding then just keep throwing money and money and money at it shops quoting me roughly 1600 bucks to patch it they're saying they're not liable so um i, I can't really argue with them i mean they did they claiming they didn't touch the oil area i mean they technically they didn't and i know that so i can't fight that but the point is i know that there was oil in it and i got it back with no oil so you know what i mean but there's no like proof you know and if you know what i mean and it's just like at the end of the day i'm not gonna sit there and just keep going back and forth and arguing with them over you know clearly you know they don't want to honor it that's on them they lose a customer you know and you know i've brought a lot of people to them so it's just it you know things always work themselves out you know they don't want to help me out on this one it's cool you know um it is what it is and uh, so, yeah, I don't know yet whether I'm going to keep the Corvette and try to fix it myself, which, I mean, I don't really have the location or the, it really is just, I have the capabilities of doing it. I just don't have, you know, a spot to do it really. And then, you know, that's really where things are going to, you know, boil down for me, you know, um, and, you know, just, just trying to, I could do some more shit to the AMG you know with that extra money or i could buy a different project car and start having some fun with it you know instead of being stuck just with this headache you know over you know to me i just time is more important and more valuable you know and just the money just is just annoying having to constantly spend money on a headache you know i love corvettes i do like look i've got a corvette shirt on i, I love corvettes and you know it's a stick shift corvette you know it's just it's fun but I mean, when I really think about it, I don't even like, like, I, okay, I can't say I don't like the C5. Like, I love C5s too, like, especially C5Z. But what I'm trying to say is, like, it's not, like, for instance, if this was a LS3 Grand Sport or a LS7 Z06, you know, so basically a C6 model. Or if it was, like, a, a pro-charged, you know, C5Z, you know, or a Stingray, you know, something, like, badass where I'm like, you know what, fuck, I got to spend this money, but I got this dope whip. You know what I mean? It's, you know, attractive, it's fun, it's fast, it's exciting. You know what I mean? Like, then it makes sense for me to keep dumping loads of cash. But I got a bucket 97, you know, first year C5 with 300,000 miles on it, you know. Chip paint, blown suspension, stained interior, upside down steering wheel, bad suspension, bad alignment, transmission grinds. You know, the window doesn't roll up and down. Got a leak in the AC system. You know what I mean? I'm like, and now the engine's knocking. So it's like, okay, cool. I fixed the engine knock, right? Okay, what do I do? I put a new motor in it or I rebuild this one, you know, or I half-ass patch it up and get it back on the road. And then what? I still got all those other problems to deal with. And at the end of the day, I still have a 97, 330,000 mile Corvette. Just... At this point, I think I'm just going to wash my hands. I mean, I could literally just, like, yeah, I don't know. I could just wash my hands of this, and I, I could wrap the AMG, you know, and get a new set of wheels, or, you know, or I can buy a little project car, or I could get the Ranger back on the road and start the Ranger build. You know, I could do that, too, you know. Um, I don't know. There's lots of things I can do right now, but I think I'm done with the idea of the Corvette right now. I think I'm... Unless something crazy happens or I come into a chunk of money and I can put an LS3 in that girl and have some fun. But I doubt that because with that kind of money, I just buy a different car. I mean, or a different project. I'd rather, like if I had an old school Camaro right now, like that'd be dope. I'd rather have an old school Camaro that I could drop a motor in my front yard, you know. But having the Corvette, I got to lift the body up. It's just, it's a headache. So, um, 
That's the update with the Corvette. <laughs> Stressing me out already, like making me sweat. <laughs> but anyways, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been following along and following my channel from day one. You know, I appreciate you guys. Uh, I love comments, so if you guys are there, drop a comment, say what's up. Let me know what you guys think. You know, and uh, let me know what you guys want to see coming up on the channel. What do you think I should do here? Um, but yeah, no, I appreciate every one of you guys, and uh, we're just going to keep on going up from here. You know, uh, today's problems are, you know, are irrelevant for the future, so we're going to look back at these videos and laugh like I was worried about a C5 when I'm rolling in a, who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> we'll be rolling in something big, but yeah, so we're going to continue to grow, and uh, hope everybody stays along, and for anybody that's new, hit that, sus hit that subscribe button. And I never really, I post notification. I mean, you could do that if you want. I feel like if you just subscribe to me and, you know, whenever you feel like wanting to go and watch a couple of my videos, you know, just do it, you know. I am trying to pop up some random um, shorts, trying to just stay relevant. So for people that are asking me, like, why am I posting random stuff that's not car related? This is Life of Frankie. So it is random stuff that I do on top of just cars i'm a big car guy that's why my channel is predominantly cars like that's my life i eat breathe sleep cars for anybody that knows me i've been doing that non-stop when i was younger i was into bmx and girls that was about it <laughs> so if you knew me when i was younger that's all it was and now it's just cars so uh in family so cars and family so yep anyways i'll catch you guys on the next one let's go you